Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to show you guys a video on how to clean and remove the odor from any of the old glass jars that you might have lying around, so that way you can store your medicinal herbs inside of them. There are only a few things that you're going to need for this, and it will work on any glass jar that you have laying around that you plan on using. All you simply need is the glass jars that you want to use, some baking soda, and then a spoon. The baking soda is a really, really good thing to use to remove odors from pretty much anything that you have laying around and it works really well on glass jars especially with hot water. Make sure that you get the water coming from your tap really nice and hot for this. The reason for that is the hotter that your water is the more clean that the jar is going to come out. Now if we look inside there we can see really just how gross this thing is. This thing has been sitting for a month and this is actually an old jar from some adult beverage form of eggnog that I had laying around that's probably over a month old like I said. So this thing is really gross and it does not smell very pleasant at all. But I left it out this way so I could show you guys how to remove the odor from any old jars you have laying around. As you can see this jar is of a really nice size. It's got a nice wide mouth on it so it'll be really easy for me to store my herbs inside of this. We just simply want to squirt a little bit of soap inside of the jar and after we've done that put the lid on top all right, now the lid is on nice and tight. Just give it a really good shake here. This will help to loosen the things up inside of the jar. Now the reason I'm doing it this way on this jar, obviously I could fit my hand inside of here, but there may be some jars that you have laying around that you can't actually fit your hand inside of. A good example of that would be a jar somewhat like this, where it's very narrow at the top, so it's very difficult to actually get your hand inside of. So you may have to use like a long-handled spoon or a fork just to get any actual cleansing ability inside of this jar. Depending on how stinky the jar that you're using is, you can use anywhere from one teaspoon all the way up to three tablespoons of baking soda. One thing I like to do is just get a pan of hot water going on the stove and then I like to use that water to dump into the jars after I've added the baking soda. All right, now that we've added the baking soda, just put on the lid and again, give this a really good shake. What this is going to do, this is going to allow the baking soda to get up into the lid. It's going to get into the jar. It's going to get through everything that we're wanting it to get through and it's going to clean and remove or deodorize the inside of this jar and the top of this lid. Now the entire jar isn't sanitary yet, but after we're done with this, all we simply have to do is just wash it like normal. And at this point, after we've washed our jars, we should notice that there's no more odor. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned just a little bit of something. If you want to learn more about edible or medicinal plants, make sure to subscribe.